What's going on guys, it's D-Night here coming at you guys with another video. This video is going to be informational, so you guys want to stay tuned. If you find yourself enjoying this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more content from me, of course. And I make daily videos every day about gaming news, game videos, it's a matter of gameplay. And you know guys, and yeah, this topic, this video is going to be about Ubisoft guys. Ubisoft is going to give us 150 Phoenix credit this weekend to all division players. They, they they announced it on their live stream, I think, yesterday. I don't know. I don't watch their live streams. But they announced it sometime, someday, yesterday, probably this week. And this weekend, they're going to have 150 finished credits. A lot of people saying that's not a lot, but that's something to get you up there, you know, get you a little equipment. If you got 200 finished credits, you need 150 extra boost finished credits to get you to 300. And, you know, guys, this, this is just a little, little insider. But this video is not about that topic. This is about Ubisoft one of the ban players in the division. I'm not going to say ban. They say they want to punish. That's the word they use. Punish. They want to punish players in the division for exploiting the raid, the insurgent, the lost Falcon uh, raid. You know, people have been exploiting it, taking gear out of that. It's like a wall glitch that messed up in their coding. They didn't patch it up or something. They need to recode the uh, mission. To patch the glitch spots up because you can breach through the wall with a wall glitch. You guys can look it up on the internet. I'm not teaching you guys on this. I'm not teaching any exploits or glitches on this uh, on my on my page about games. You know, because I believe in fair play. I believe in equality for all. You know, but because if a if a bunch of people glitching and you got an other half who playing the game fair, they will be at a disadvantage because the pairs are glitching for better gear. You know, and these are set gears. If you set it on challenging mode, you will get level 32 gear. So you can actually get, you, you, can, you can you can literally beat this mission within an hour, guys. It would take like 40 minutes, 40 minutes tops to beat this mission. You just got to get outside the uh, barrier, shoot inside the map, then run up in there and claim it. Because once you finish the mission by destroying the tank with sticky bombs, it's over with, man. The mission done, they disappear, you run up in there and go, and go get your loot. Simple as that. And yeah, man, should they... Should they punish people for exporting glitches? Like, they should be happy they be finding the exports in their games, but people taking advantage of the exports, just not good, you know? But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Do you guys think they should ban people, or they should let it go, you know? Like, should they let it go? What do you think about exploiting games, exploiting gear? Because this is a grand, this, this is a game-breaking glitch. Like, this glitch is game-breaking. <laughs> it's just wild, like I can say. It's just get you get gear. Get you the gear you need within an hour. You can have like, you can beat this mission like five times within a day, you know. And it's just simple as that. Easy as hell. Just to, just, just to get your gear. But yeah, man, I'm done with this video. If you guys found the video information, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel for more content from me, of course. Share this video if you found the information or helpful. Stop the glitches, man. And also, guys, stay tuned for this weekend. Look in your inventory for 150 fitness credits. It'll be free. And yeah, man, stop the glitches. And I'll catch you guys later, and I'm out. Peace.